You know, most uh, Americans abroad and, and many Americans in America become familiar with the FBAR, which is the Report of Foreign Bank and Financial Accounts. And basically what this form requires is if you're a U.S. person, so that means you're a U.S. citizen, you're a green card holder, or you meet the substantial presence test, uh, you're required to file this FBAR form to report any foreign bank and financial accounts if the aggregate value of those accounts is $10,000 or more. There's a common misconception that it's $10,000 per account. So as long as you're under $10,000 per account, you don't have to file it. This is completely wrong. It's a combined value. So let's say, for example, you have one foreign account with $5,000, another with $6,000. Individually, they're both under $10,000, but collectively they're eleven, dollars which is more than $10,000, meaning that you have to file an FBAR and report both of those accounts, even though they're both under $10,000. Uh, this also includes if you're married, for example, to a non-resident alien and you guys have a joint account, you have to include the entire value of that account on your FBAR. Now, one of the big mistakes that people and inexperienced tax preparers, and there's a lot of them out there, make is that they only put bank accounts on the FBAR. This is a huge mistake because the name of the form implies that it's bank and financial accounts. So what, are, what is a financial account other than a bank account? I'll give you some examples. Brokerage accounts, annuities, life insurance with a cash value, escrow accounts. If you have a, if you have a security deposit on an apartment, that could potentially be uh, reportable on an FBAR. So there's a long list of things that can go on FBARs besides bank accounts. And as many of you know, the penalties for not filing an FBAR, or willfully filing an incorrect one, can be up to 50% of the balance of the account per year. It's a massive penalty. In two years, you could wipe out the entire uh, balance of whatever the unreported account was. So it's really important you get it right. We know what we're doing. Come check us out at Esquire Group. We'll make sure your, your FBAR is filed properly. We hope to see you soon. EsquireGroup.com.